right, so for today's video, we're going to be glazing in color. I have not done this before and it looks pretty wild to me. I'm not gonna lie. So let's see how this goes. I found that the color came, went on the canvas really smooth. I really felt like I got good coverage and I just felt like I could get those gradients nice and soft, which is what I wanted to. I found for some reason that the grayscale was a little bit more difficult to do that. So it was kind of fun to see how quickly and easily that first pass could come together in color. I did find that I was a little more focused on the soft edges on the objects and I kind of feel like I neglected the background a little. So for stage two, I'm going to be darkening my shadows a little bit and bringing my lights up to their finished value. I want this one, I decided to create a detailed checklist to make sure that I was not moving on to a different object until I made sure that I had done what I needed to do in each stage. So hopefully keep my thoughts a little bit more organized, be a little bit more intentional, and really try to focus up on technique this time. I am working by myself today, which is very exciting. My kids have gone back to school today and the house is quiet, so my brain is not 100% sure what to do with all this silence not being interrupted every 10 minutes, but I'm gonna see if we can focus up and knock out stage two today. One and stage two are done, they're set. I've put an alkyd medium on top to seal them so they're kind of like the underpainting and now I'm going to glaze color, um, very chromatic color on top to really bring everything, hopefully, into real sharp goodness. We're just gonna give this a try, see how it goes. That's all we can do, right? Okay.
Okay, so that is my first attempt at glazing. It was actually a ton of fun. I really enjoyed the process. It was, it came together a lot better than I thought it was going to, so that was kind of exciting. Um, some of my big takeaways, take this with a big old grain of salt. I am new, I am learning. Um, but yeah, it was to not be afraid of color, like more color is more color, and playing around with that was kind of exciting. I guess because you're using such a thin pass of paint really because it's quite transparent it's not it's not going to be as vibrant as you think it is so it's not as scary as you think it is i feel like it came together a lot faster than i thought it was going to i thought it was going to take a little bit more work but it was kind of neat once you start glazing in that color it just really brings up the vibrancy and like the gradient areas and around the highlights in previous techniques i was adding things like titanium white or naples yellow or a little bit of chev yellow to bring up highlights and it always desaturated the chroma a little bit Whereas this technique, because you're glazing in the color, it really allows those areas to remain vibrant. It's really fun to play around with areas like the reflections and things like that, being able to bring some of the chroma of the glaze into those reflections. Uh, I feel like I did that really well on the pair and I'm really excited how that one came out. I feel like I should have done that a little better on the tennis ball, but that's okay. I'm learning. Grace for myself. It was really neat to be able to play around with seeing the way that you could use glaze. So like being able to take the background and glaze it into the shadows a little bit to be able to really marry things together or you know using a little bit of pink into the reflection of the pair because they're sitting on top of each other they're going to be reflecting that color so it's kind of fun to be able to play around and see what you can kind of do in this technique with the different elements of the painting so i'm very excited to play around with that over the next couple of paintings and all in all it was really fun it was really exciting to be using so much chroma and just playing around i think having that glaze layer underneath really sealing the painting doesn't feel as stressful or as scary to do things because when you're glazing on top of that you can just wipe it out and everything underneath is still set and good to go so it was kind of fun to be able to feel a little bit more free and trying things and not feeling like this is going to ruin my painting so i think that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching along take care friends see you in the next one bye now